It has been about a month since the stay at home order took effect, forcing some businesses to close and schools to shut down. And unfortunately, thousands of San Diegans have lost their jobs. While some people are struggling with their budgets, some may find they're spending less in some areas. News 8's Abby Alford has more on a tool that helps calculate your spending and where you may be saving. Many people say that they've saved the most at the gas pump because they haven't been able to fill up in the last month. Now we can crunch the numbers all that we want, but why not let an online calculator show you just how much money you're saving, what you're spending, and if our habits will change. Now, I looked at my checking account and I kind of thought, why do I have so much money? That's how Nick Johnson, the co-founder of Home Snacks, a data ranking website, created the coronavirus ka-ching money saving calculator with his business partner. We're all probably saving more money than we think. Yes, we're home, so the power and water bills might be up slightly, but depending on where you live, the average prices may vary. If you go to the online calculator, you fill out how many people are in the household, how often you go get fast food, you go to the restaurant, bars, miles you travel a day, and how many kids are in childcare, which is about $900 a month. And when you go to restaurants, the average cost is $27 per person, although if you have alcohol with that, that's going to go up a lot. They calculated the average savings is about $1,700 a month per household. We wanted to see where people were saving and spending. Catherine says gasoline, nails, massage and movies. Tony says that he's been catching up on bills instead of going to the casino. Marcy says her food costs are out of control. Lena Fuller says when you lose your job, no need to worry about spending. And Lena is absolutely right. The only reason that we really can save right now is because many of those bars and restaurants, salons and other stores are closed where we can't spend leaving millions without work. And seeing our savings could actually impact businesses when they reopen. Before, we may have spent without caution. Now we're getting by without getting our nails done, or instead of paying for dry cleaning, we're ironing. We're being self-sufficient, which could impact our spending habits. Yeah, I hope everybody gets back to normal because I think things were fine the way they were. If you go to CBS8.com, that's where we have this online calculator, and you can check just how much money you're saving. And Curtis Mesa, I'm Abby Alford for News 8.